A Johannesburg family lost their three-year-old daughter as a result of a power cut. Cowan Eaton's daughter was on an oxygen machine, but an inverter died during a power cut and the family could not keep the oxygen running. Eaton is now demanding government take increased action to stem rolling blackouts and prevent more deaths. He spoke to ENCA's Heidi Jockos a little earlier. She was ill. She was in hospital uh, over the, say, two, from two weeks ago, Monday, and she stayed until the next Monday, and then she was discharged. Um, but she needed to still be on oxygen. So but we have the oxygen machine at home, um, and we also have a backup tank. Um, but obviously, with load shedding, um, the machine obviously goes off uh, when it's load shedding, and then we have to switch her over onto the oxygen tank. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a nightmare constantly um, juggling because sometimes we go off like four times a day and, for, and sometimes we don't come back on for hours or even days, you know, so um, we, just, we just want something to change and we're also worried about the future of other South Africans' lives in our country, you know. So, uh, sorry, just uh, if we can go back to what happened on the actual day that your oh. daughter passed, like, w was the electricity supposed to come back and it didn't? What happened on that day? Okay, on that morning, um, she was on the oxygen machine and then suddenly 8, p 8 a.m., the lights just uh, cut off. Then we had to juggle now, obviously, to change her onto the oxygen tank. And we were actually scheduled for load shedding at 10, but apparently that it was a maintenance between 8 and 4, but they only not we only saw a notification at 11 o'clock that morning after the fact, three hours later, you know, the notification that there was going to be maintenance. Mm -hmm. So obviously that really just messed us up. Mm -hmm. And then you, you were trying to put her back onto the oxygen and you rushed her to hospital? Maybe? Yes, okay. So we put her back on, onto the oxygen um, tank. Uh, then we said, hey, you know what, let's rather just drive to the to the hospital because the hospital is about 10 minutes drive from us so it'll be quicker than even calling an ambulance or and uh, you know people might think that um, maybe we should eat about inverters and stuff like that but inverters are not helping us because those machines are strong and they drain the, the, the batteries flat so anyway we put her on the machine we put her in the car and uh, halfway to the hospital um, her mom started saying uh, she's turning gray she doesn't look like she's breathing and stuff like that so I started speeding so on my, in my mind, I'm, I'm thinking, should I stop to help or should I get to the, where the professionals are in the hospital, you know? So I'm in a two-way street, but I just sped through the traffic, and, and, but it was too late when we got to the hospital. She was gone. But they tried to resuscitate her, and we're very grateful for how they tried, but it was late. Mm -hmm. This is obviously really difficult because you, you can't plan with load shedding. Um, you have to think of other ways to you know, basically keep your child alive and that didn't happen. What do you have to say to our government? You've now lost your daughter because of this. Yes, uh, we're very disappointed in how the country has been run by, the, by our government, obviously. I think everybody feels that way. Um, they are destroying lives. They are killing people in our country. And, you know, we've, we've heard a lot of um, news about elderly people in our communities that are constantly dying because they, either their machines don't work or their ventilators die or there's a whole lot of uh, oxygen machines. Um, you know, so they need to take this serious. And, and, and I think that will be the message. And if my daughter, if Nehemiah can be a light for South African people, then we are, are happy to fight that fight. What are you going to do moving forward? Who do you think should take accountability for this? Um, we've had meetings with the councillors and stuff like that, so we're still looking at it right now. But we, with regards to load shedding and not us not having power, we think the government, should, and well, ESCOM and the government, I think they're one entity. Mm -hmm. So they should really take responsibility and actually do something for the people in South Africa, you know.